Hello everyone and thanks for stopping by to Scrap and Craft with Terry. Today I'm going to start something new. I've been watching oh, a lot of YouTubers doing these altered books and I really I really like the way they look. I like the style of them and I had this book mm, it's by Debbie McComber says any dream will do I don't know what the book's about I didn't read it but I like the pages in it I like the color of the pages in it and it has a nice heavy cover on it so I thought um, what I was going to start doing is making like some inserts that will go into it once I you know start tearing the pages out and stuff like that. I don't exactly know that I'm going to um, tear the pages out on camera. I might do some along, do some, you know, add my inserts into them, and then once I get my pages all done, you know, torn out and glued and whatever, then maybe I'll just do some of my stuff right directly on the pages. But until then, I think this will be a lot of fun. And it's something new. It's like, um, uh, it's just going to be different. So, like I say, I've been watching a lot of different ones. And I come across uh, a video. It's... Kylie's card craft and I think she did this about a year ago and I I've only seen a couple of her videos so I'm trying to like look for the videos that go with this book of hers and so I don't really think she would mind and I don't mind because it's somebody's idea so I'm going to kind of follow some of what she's doing the insert that I'm going to do today, I watched her do it. Now, um, she uses A4 paper. Not really sure where she's from. So her paper is a little bit longer than ours. So some of these folds are a little bit bigger. But that's okay. I just, you know, you just make them fit. And... All of her papers are not the same as mine, so everything is going to be different, but the same idea. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to start with the first insert that I'm going to make for this book. And I think I'll have a lot of fun with it. Like I say, it'll be something different, something new for me to do. And... At the beginning of the year, I had said, you know, that I would like to um, find new things to do. So I can say that this is new. So we'll see how it goes. Okay. So on this is just a eight and a half by eleven sheet of. Um, coffee dyed printer paper it's a little bit heavy of a printer paper it's not really super lightweight so it has some good weight to it and what she did was she folded her paper in half now like I said hers is a little bit bigger than ours but that's fine this is going to work just fine and the size of the paper is going to fit perfectly in the book because it's going to cover up the writing. You know, I don't know if it'll be on this page or if it'll be on this page. But anyway, it covers up the writing and there's going to be a border around it. So, so I think it'll look good. Okay, so anyway, she started by folding her paper in half. And then she folded this back and left a little bit of a border right here. So then, you know, this part here will be glued to the page. So she'll just have this, this flip out. 
and then it can fold over this way. Today we're just going to work on this side of the page. I really don't know what's up for the next side, so we're just going to work with this side. Now, she started out with a book page. I had a dictionary an older dictionary that the pages was bigger, so that's what I chose to use. So I just, you know, folded it and used this as my flap. So these, these sides here, like you do when you make a pocket, you cut these out. That makes this not so bulky. Let me flip that up. And then she just had this torn at the top, so that's what I did. I already inked everything. So, and look, this was page 200 and 199. So I'm going to start off by gluing these. And I hope everyone, you know, is going to like these videos. I think it'll be interesting, a lot of fun. We'll just fold these over. And I like the color of this. I could have cut this shorter, but yeah, why bother? And then we'll just fold that down, and this is going to be our pocket. Now I don't have I don't have tags made for any of this stuff yet. So far we're just working on the page and the stuff that's going on the page. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down and I'm just going to glue the I'm just going to glue the three sides. So if there's something else that I want to add behind it, I can. Not really sure. Can't remember if she glued the whole thing down or not. But like I say, you know, even though I'm going by the idea, it's still going to be my own. So then I'll have a pocket here and a pocket back here. So that'll be two big pockets. Okay. Now for the decoration on this, she cut out some, or she tore it. She tore some music paper, and this is really old. It's fragile. So she just kind of set this down here, and she had, I think her um, scalloped punch was a little bit bigger than mine. And my other one is just great big. It's way too big. So this is the one that I'm using. And she had flowers on hers. And I think these flowers go good with this background. And then she took a little piece of lace and just put under here. And she had a stamp. And she took just a little tiny bit of cheesecloth. And like, I really have this torn up bad. I think I overstretched it. And she just kind of laid it up here somehow and then put the the stamp on it. And that's how she decorated that first page. So that's what we're going to do. So I'll glue this down first and I'm going to have this down here more towards the bottom. Now this could also be left, you know, if all of this other stuff up here wasn't there you could leave this open but since that stuff's all there this could always be left open as a side tuck pocket and you know what i think that's a good idea i might just do that so i think i'm only going to glue around these three sides and i'm going to leave that side over there open i like when ideas come in my mind when i'm like halfway through doing something. We 
wipe some of that off. Okay, so this will almost be like a little hidden pocket. It'll be for like a little bit smaller tag, but that'll be okay. Or I could loosen this back just a little tiny bit, but I wouldn't want it to tear because like I say, this paper really is fragile. So I'd probably just make like a narrower tag to go in there. Okay, now let's put this on first so I know about where it's going to be. And I can place my flower. So how many of you are doing altered books? Have you tried them yet? Something that you're interested in? I think the altered look book looks more interesting than me sitting down and filling up a journal. I just think it looks like a lot of fun. Another thing that I want to try someday, and I have quite a few, but we'll see when that day comes. I'd like to alter some little golden books. I've watched quite a lot of videos on the way everybody alters their little golden books, and a lot of the ways that they do them are different. I like some ways better than other ways. Oh, I gotta lift this up. I have to put my lace under it. See, I was yakking. I wasn't paying attention. So I think I just want it to barely go under that edge. I've seen like some of the videos I've seen the altered um, little golden books are so pretty some of them are really decked out but that's what I would like to try someday She just took this and kind of bunched it a little bit and see if I can just bunch it up a little bit before I have it completely torn apart. It was a little bit wider than it is right now, but I've been messing with it so much. I think that looks good just like that and then we'll just put the little stamp over it and it says um, I think it's from the Republic of France or something I don't think my glue's flowing very good out of there today. So we'll do something like that. Okay. So that's my first page. Well, now that's part of my first page. That's the first part of it. We'll say that. Now we're going to move over here. And this one here, I really 
I, I've tried two different things on this one and the other two didn't look right at all. This paper here I thought went perfect with it. And then I'm just going to have a piece of the coffee dyed paper as the pocket. I think I'll put it that way. And then, you know, I just have to watch to make for sure that everything folds in good. I might better tear this just a little tiny bit. Because it still looks a little wide. And then I'll just kind of round this a little bit. Okay, let's see how this goes. And I left the bottom of this just straight. I tore these edges, but um, the bottom is not going to be seen, so there was really no reason for me to spend the time tearing it. And this is just going to be, let me see, what do I have to stick down in here? This is going to be a little narrow pocket, so that'll work. I couldn't figure out anything else to put down here. Everything I tried didn't go with it. It just kind of stood out like a sore thumb. I'm going to completely glue this down. So I decided that I would just stick with the coffee dyed paper for the pocket. And that would be just fine. Sometimes somebody else will do something and it really looks cute the way they do it and I'll try to do it and oh no just doesn't look right at all okay I think sometimes I just doubt myself a little too much okay I'm just gonna glue the three sides There we go. Make sure that's still open. Yes, it is. So I think that page is cute. Now with the, the lace, I'm just going to put it down this way a little bit away from the top. Seeing how I tore the edge, I don't want to cover it up. We'll just put the lace down in here. That'll just help decorate the pocket a little bit. Make sure I have the right side up. Now, on these laces that are scalloped, I like to have this in the center and then just cut these sides off. Just something about it. I think it has to be just right. All right, and then I have just this little number thing and keep going. So I'm just gonna kind of put them at an angle, glue them down. Actually, I think working this way where you're working um, outside of a book or a journal, working on the insert, I think it's easier because you don't have to fumble around with the book. I'm just going to put them something like that. Okay, now, so this will just fold under like that. 
And when you open it up, then you have this little pocket. Cool, huh? Now on this page, this is just some of my grandkids' writing paper. So I just kind of used the one brown that I had. It's a multi-brown. And I just went over it a little bit. I had to add two pieces to make it longer. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue this down. And then we'll have this as a whole journal page. You know, once they outgrow using this kind of paper, well, it's good for crafting. Okay, so there's that. And then up top here, I want to just add a little butterfly. But then on the side here, from this page that I tore out, I'm just going to, because this is the way it tore, I'm just going to glue this down over here. Just add it to that page. I took it right back out of the waste basket and I thought I'm not going to throw that away. I'm just going to use that. And I can just let that little tail hang right down there. So I thought that looked good on that page. Just gives it a little extra something. Okay, and then our little butterfly. All right, now on this, the end of this page here, the edge, she had a tab. And it's going to go to this side, but she left this side loose for when she decorates this part. So we have to wait and see how she decorates it. Hopefully I can find the video for it. And... I'm just going to put it in the center. She said, you know, you could have it up or down or in the center. I think it looks good in the center. And mine definitely looks different than hers does. But I think it's cute. And then once the other side is done, then this will be like this. And then when you pull it open, you'll have the little tab to pull. Make sure I have it straight. Okay. So that's going to be... Now, wh wherever it ends up in the book, I don't know. But that's going to be my first insert for my altered book whenever I might get around to doing that. Getting it put in. So let me know down in the comments what you think. If you have any suggestions or anything like that, let me know. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I invite you to sub subscribe to my channel. Then you know when I'm uploading videos. I don't know some of my videos lately um, I upload them one day and they finally go live the next day. I don't know I don't know what's up with it but what are you going to do? So until next time everyone I hope you have a wonderful day and come back and see me for my next video whatever that might be and happy crafting. Bye for now.